why is it not only possible that we could be living in a computer simulation, but almost certain that we are? The philosopher Nick Bostrom argues that if our technology continues to advance, then it is likely that at some point in the future we will be able to create computer simulations which perfectly replicate the world, populated by simulations of brains which have all the cognitive functions and conscious awareness of a real person. It's possible that you are one of these simulated minds, as there might be no way to tell the difference between the real world and the virtual reality one in which you exist. But this only means that you could never be completely sure that you aren't living in a simulation. Bostrom's argument differs, in that it argues that at least one of the following is true. Almost all civilizations at our level of development become extinct before becoming technologically mature. The fraction of technologically mature civilizations that are interested in creating simulations is almost zero. You are almost certainly living in a computer simulation. So, either all civilizations become extinct before creating the technology to build simulations, or they have no interest in building them, or you are most certainly living in one right now. This is because when the technology has advanced enough, we could create and run millions of these virtual worlds. This would mean that there would be billions more simulated minds than real ones, making it mathematically much more probable that you are one of the simulated minds. The argument doesn't tell us which of the three possibilities is more likely, only that at least one of them is true. And if you discount the first two, then the third inevitably follows. If at some point in the future we develop the technology and start building a simulation, this would be strong evidence for rejecting the first two premises and would then have to accept that we are most likely already living inside of one. But if we are already living in a simulation, and we start building one ourselves, then how many layers of reality could there be, with simulations inside simulations inside simulations inside simulations inside simulations inside simulations? Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the simulation argument down in the comments. Do you think we could be living in a simulation? And if so, does it make any difference to our lives? If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe by clicking here. And you can check out my previous video on the science of habits by clicking here. See you next time.